Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial video on finding articles using databases on the website of the College of the Redwoods Library. We will start at the main website for College of the Redwoods, which is located at www.redwoods.edu. Scroll to the bottom of the page and look on the left side of the page for a green rectangle with the word library inside. Click here. This will take you to the home page for the library. Look on the left side of your screen for the link that reads, Find Resources. Hover your mouse over this link. You should see four options appear to the right of your mouse. Click on the link that reads, Articles and Databases. You are now on the web page that lists all of the online databases that CR subscribes to. Each of these databases contains articles and other content that you can use for your assignments. As you can see, the, the databases are listed in alphabetical order. At the top of the page, you will notice a couple of drop-down menu options, which will enable you to display the databases in a couple of different ways. This includes displaying databases based on subject or by type. Additionally, on the right side of the page, you will see several new and trial databases as well. We will now conduct a search using one of these databases. We will use Academic Search Premier for this demonstration. Let's say you need to find articles on violent video games. We will begin by typing this into our search bar. Notice that as you type, the database populates this area with topics similar to the one that you are typing in. Keep an eye out to see if any of these topics correspond to what you are searching for. As you can see, our search generated several hundred results. Now, no one has time to look through every one of these articles. This is where database filters will come in handy. On the left side of your screen, you will notice several options that you can select to narrow down your search results. Let's look at some of these filters. Clicking on full text displays all of the results that have the full article ready for you to access. This usually comes in the form of a PDF file, but can also be in the form of an HTML link. Either way, this filter assures that all of the displayed results are directly accessible. Clicking on the scholarly peer-reviewed journals filter will display items that have been reviewed by experts prior to publication. Peer-reviewed articles undergo a rigorous examination process before they are published in scholarly journals. Right below this filter, you will notice another filter that reads publication date. You can use this filter to narrow the range in which articles are published. If you're looking for current articles, for example, you have the option to narrow your search results to articles published within the last five years. Conversely, if you are doing historical research, you could select a date range from the past. Two other filters that may prove useful are subject thesaurus term and subject. These filters, which are located on the left side of the page, provide keywords that are attached to article descriptions as well as similar terms to the term that you used in your search. Clicking on these filters will limit the results to the articles that contain these terms. In order to access the article, click on the title of the article, which appears in blue. On the screen that appears, you can click on the link on the left side of the page that says PDF Full Text. On the right side of the page, you will see a couple of other options in which to obtain the article. You can either email it to yourself by clicking on the email link, or you can click on Save and download a copy. One thing to keep in mind is that not all databases are the same. Most contain the features discussed in this video, but they may be arranged differently. If you come across a database different than the one we explored today, fear not. The concepts we went over are the same. You may just need to spend a little bit of time familiarizing yourself with the layout of each database and its range of features. This will conclude our video on finding articles using the CR Library databases. We hope you have found this information useful. Please contact the College of the Redwoods Library if you have any questions or need additional information.